post less, but post better. I want to talk about how branding can be death by a thousand cuts. And it's four to five wrong decisions that can subconsciously affect the consumer's perception on a brand and decide to never buy from them again. And that's what's killing brands right now because of how disposable social media is and how they're constantly hiring new agencies to try to give them vanity metrics like engagements and likes. They're missing the plot that they've built this brand for over a hundred years. Tiffany was one example and how you can engage in an April Fool's joke and how that cheapens the brand and how the executives at the top level can't pinpoint at what moment the brand lost its value or its demand within the consumer's hearts and mind. I don't even think the consumer could pinpoint where that exactly th that thing happened where they went to that thing on the shelf rather than the other thing on the shelf. Totally. And, and because of that, we've lost the simple principles in marketing and we're overcomplicating. We're bringing in social justice and political issues. We're having marketing agencies put it together pretty graphics you're losing the heart and the core of what what true branding is and a, an example of this I was in the mall yesterday and I never go shopping in the malls anymore and I went into this clothing store that I've liked their brand over the course of whatever the last few years it was open for it and I've never I haven't ever had a strong connection with this brand but it's been a trendy enough brand that I will check it out if I see it in the mall and I went into the mall and the music was so bad it was bad and I, I don't want to explain what the music is because I want to hurt anybody's opinion but it just it completely was off brand and I and I left the store although that that might seem dramatic it's those small subconscious things that most consumers aren't actually honest about that it could be the way that the person is dressed that works at the store. It can be the layout of the store. It can be the styles that they put out. Like for example, I was in Aritzia yesterday. I could not find something to buy because they've just gone so Gen Z. They've, they've lost the plot of being this like fashionable but professional place to shop. And I, it's those small moments of now, I don't want to shop at Aritzia. I'd sooner go to a Club Monaco. It sounds like what you're saying is attention to detail matters in craftsmanship as much as it matters in brand messaging because having the wrong music is a small detail that can chase people out. Totally, totally. What it comes down to is is having or being focused on the simple principles of marketing, like really understanding your target market consumer and continuously not trying to please everybody by having one or two or maximum three target market personas that everything you're doing for the brand is solely focused on them and by not doing that the april fools for tiffany is a perfect example because the person that's buying a hundred and twenty thousand dollar engagement ring at your store with the best real estate in the world doesn't care about april fools on instagram post less but post better and I already know that I'm going to have people say like, you're being over dramatic, but I'm honest. Like we've all had those instances where you've been to a restaurant and the service has been horrible or they're not, you know, they're not maintaining their standard of cleanliness and you decide to not go back. And the top never really knows what happened. This is why your sales are down in the malls. Like nobody is trying. You've made the experience subpar to be in person that I'd rather be online because all I need to do if I check out the Oak and Foresight is click exit. I didn't have to drive across the city in traffic, park my car, walk into the mall. Like people don't prioritize that in that in-person experience in the same way. And when they do, it has to be great. Your term vanity metrics, I think has created because we advocate we advocate great digital strategies but vanity metrics superimpose over it and can be a distraction to companies. Yeah. So that they're chasing vanity metrics on digital pl platforms. They're not being strategic. Their socials should be strategic. Instead, they're preoccupied with vanity metrics and they're missing the principles, the, like almost a return to fr first principles about marketing and experience and attention to detail. Yeah, totally. And that's, 
And it, it's funny because I I think that so many people want to focus on extremities. Like when you say, you know, t- like I, Tiffany killed their brand with that April Fool's post. In isolation, that can be an extreme statement, but it speaks largely to the decisions that are being approved within that company and where that company is going for the next 100 years. And I don't believe they're going to be around if they don't change their their approach and their strategy. 